Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. Today we're working on a domestic water pump from floors one to six and we got a complaint that this motor is burning and smoking. So this pump is officially shot. There was water blowing out of the seal and there was some crazy noises. This thing is gone. So the, the goal was to get this pump running. The guys try to do it, but for some reason this thing started to smoke. And my suspicion is that this thing is wired wrong. Look at this disaster in here. So let me see what's going on when it comes to this motor. I need to see if this is wired right. We got T1, T6, and T7 together. T1. This is 208 volt. Right away, this is this is wrong off the bat. That's why this thing is smoking. Oh man, this thing is wired wrong. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna disconnect everything and rewire this. A lot of wires here, and I'm gonna show you how this is done. Forget about all this, and now it's even crazier. So, this is the motor wires, and here's our three phases. I'm gonna bring up a picture so you guys can see how this needs to be wired. Let's clean up the wires coming in. That stuff is too messed up so let's get some clear connections so we can wire this neatly so let's just pick any I'm gonna go with red for T1 so L1 goes to T1 and T7 so here's T7 We're gonna put that to L1. And T1. And T1, this guy. This guy right here. Boom. That one's done. We're gonna take our next line voltage wire and connect T2 and T8. So we got T8. Oh, where's our buddy T2? Right here, T2. It's my guy right there. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Next for line three, we got T3 and T9. So T3, T9, these all go to the last leg. And we can close that up. And next, it says that T6, T4, and T5 go together. So T6, T4, T5, these three just internally are wired together. Okay? And if you stay around, stick around with this video, I will show this on a piece of paper how this is wired. So right there, this is the way it needs to be wired. Let me just get a wire nut for this and let me try to bump this thing. All right. Close this up and just double check our work. Line one goes to T1 and T7. T1, T7. Line two is T2, T2, T2 and T8. So we got T2, T8. Line three is T3 and T9. T9, 
T9, T3, and then T6, T4, and T5 go together. This is correct. So if you follow this, this is our power coming in. It goes into this starter. So here's our three. Coil A1, A2 is wired. Got a line voltage coming in. Let me just tighten down some of these connections. I don't like how loose that is. So we're gonna tighten all that down. So, here's my meter. So what I wanna do make sure is that I'm actually spinning the correct way. So what I would actually do, and the way to know that, so if we look, we have an arrow, it's supposed to be going this way. This is a three phase system and we're gonna wash the shaft, physically wash the shaft. We're gonna bump it real quick. If it's going this way, we're good. If it's going the opposite way, we're gonna have to reverse two legs because we are going the opposite direction. So quickly, short out here, Let me turn that on. Got an alarm, Let's silence it. Uh, pump one, I'm gonna just bump it real quick just to see which way it's going. Okay, it was going the wrong way. We got our three phases crossed up. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now. Let's turn this off. And the way to do that is to reverse any two wire leads. So right here, you guys can see. So this wire, we're gonna put in the middle and the middle wire, we're gonna put on the opposite side. So let's just swap this out. So we're gonna put the middle wire to the left terminal and we're gonna put the left terminal to the middle wire. So we're just gonna reverse these. See, so take this out, put this one in here and this one in there. Right there. And like that, we're gonna reverse the direction of that motor and follow the direction that it's supposed to go. So, we just reversed our phases. Our connections are tight. This is an emergency. They really need to get this going quick. But they call the right guys. Let's silence that alarm. Let me just double check. So I'm put this on hand. Going the right way now. Yes, we are. We're going the right way, but I don't want that to run without watching the amps. Come on, come on. It sounds good and I don't see no smoke. So that's on. Got it on amps AC. Power on. Pump one. Yes, 12 amps, 12 amps. This thing is set to cut out at, we have an overload when in, in, in a starter. It's set to cut out at 16 amps. We got 11.8 amps. This pump is now running in the correct direction. Wow. So they were only running this pump. This thing got shot. You can see this thing is just leaking everywhere. The seal is broken. This pump needs to be replaced. I can see it leaking right there. This thing is done. So this needs to be replaced. I would have replaced the starters with it. And when we try to switch over to this, well, the in-house maintenance tried to switch over. They turned it on and this thing started smoking and that's because this thing was not wired right. So you always want to go by the diagram and stick around for a little bit later on this video. I'm going to show you how to properly wire that according to the diagram. That was so quick. I must say that was absolutely amazing. I'm gonna walk over to engineering and let them know that we're all right. Oh boy. Whew, that was quite some pressure. Everyone kept coming up to me. When is this gonna be ready? When is this gonna be ready? Well, it's ready. All right, everyone. Let's go over this in a much more calmer setting. This is the exact diagram that is in the photo. I just redrew it so it's clearer to see. We're gonna start with the left side. We're gonna wire this for low voltage, which is 208 volts. This is a three-phase system. So we have 
three legs, line one, line two, and line three. Everything with T is wires coming from the motor, and these are the lines coming from your motor starter. So, line one, it's very important to follow these little lines and not to get crossed up, because what the person did here was they connected L1 with T1, T7, and T6. They just went across, and that's why when they tried starting that motor, that thing started to burn. That was not wired properly. First things first, you're gonna to wanna to make sure what kind of voltage are you dealing with. So if it's 208 volts, we're gonna follow this diagram. If it's 460 volts, we're gonna follow this diagram. So let's go over 208. Your line voltage wire is gonna kinda of get connected with T1 and T7. These three go together. Line two gets connected with T2 and T8. These three get connected together. Line three gets connected with T3 and T9, and these three get connected together. Then internally from the motor itself, you're gonna put T6, T4, and T5 together. And that is exactly what I did in this video. Next, we're gonna look at the high voltage. Pay careful attention to these lines. It's very important. So line one gets connected with T1. Those get wire knotted together. Line two gets connected with T2. Those get wire knotted together. Line three gets connected with T3 and those get wire knotted together. Next, this is just wired internally for the motor. T4 and T7 get connected together, wire knot. T5 and T8 get connected together, wire knot. T6 and T9 get connected together, wire knot. And that's as simple as that. It's very confusing when you see a bunch of wires and everything's just dirty and just a million things going on at once. It's loud, you're under pressure, but it is as simple as this. And hopefully you found this video interesting or helpful. And if so, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time.